Hello everyone, School Bus here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing a replay in the AMX 5100 where things just came together pretty well. You know how that goes. Some, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days, but uh, in, in learning how to play this tank, one of the first things you'll uh, notice here on Live Oaks is that I have elected not to go with heavy tanks, despite the fact that I am a heavy tank. Because anybody who knows anything about the AMX 5100, it's that it really isn't a heavy tank. It's a, it's a heavy medium at best, but with its mobility, I can keep up with the mediums over here. My thinking is, if we can isolate some of the medium tanks and catch them off their guard, I may be able to finish them off in rather quick order. You'll also notice I'm uh, platoon today with uh, my friend S8-27, and he's in his T28 prototype. So he should be able to lay down some pretty good cover fire if uh, I do find myself out on the open plain here. And uh, if you've been watching the chat, you will notice I've been taunted a bit that uh, apparently the AMX uh, 15 or 13 uh, 75, I believe, on the other team really wants a piece of my AMX. And there he is. I would. I'd really like to uh, lay some shots into him myself. So I spent a little bit too much time up on the top here, but I'm far enough back that generally I'm not going to make a very good target because by the time they can get their guns settled, the uh, T-28 prototype can get into them or one of these other tanks. I rust that shot just a little bit there once I wait for it to aim. At this point I go ahead and I clip. Uh, it's one technique I've learned that I'll pass along to anybody learning the 5100 is that if you know there's going to be a break in combat that you can afford, get the clip loaded up. Uh, I usually consider three shells the minimum I want to go into combat, but ideally I would like to have all six. Uh, do note I am using the 100mm gun. I found, at least for me personally, the added penetration and the extra damage per shell actually worked out better for me. The reload time being 15 to 20 seconds longer hasn't really caused me any major issue. I may post another video here uh, soon showing where it did cause me a little bit of pain because of having the longer lead load time. And there he is, the 1375 that was taunting me. I missed the first one track him on the second, almost kill him on the second, and there he's done. And there was much jubilation amongst the village people. So now once again I reload again. And now I'm trying to sort out, okay we have an IS-3 and an IS-6 coming in, and I cannot face those frontally. Do not, I repeat, do not with a 5100 go after an IS-3 and an IS-6 from the front. However, they seem to be <coughs> a bit enamored with my T-34 and with the T-28 back there. So I go ahead. They don't know where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead. I have about 20 seconds left to reload time. I'm going to circle around and either go to the next bridge or jump across the tracks and see if I can get some shots in. My only worry is if there's another line of attackers behind what I can see, that could be a problem. It's not what you can see that's an issue, it's what you don't see that can be the issue. But almost all tanks are lit, as you can see, so my worry is low, and this becomes a perfect 5100 opportunity. You just come in, you unload that clip, finish them off, and there's no more guns pointed back at you. Now I come out one shell short here with this Cheeto. And unfortunately, I donk the shot into uh, his track and don't actually get a penetrating hit. So I get away from him. He gets finished off by artillery. And now my T-28 prototype here can keep me covered as I make my retreat. And for the most part, that is the game. I was able to land 2,600 damage. 10 penetrating hits and as you saw it was done in a rather short order but I found that to be a rather textbook round with the 5100 where you wait for your opportunity and you go in and finish off targets.
So, more to come. Hope you like this video, and uh, hopefully there'll be uh, many more to come. Thanks.